Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Are you ready for your routine for today? So we're going to start with the breathing. So lie down on your back or you prefer to be sitting. Just make sure that if you are sit, that your back is straight. So whatever you prefer are on the floor or sitting. Relax completely, relax your shoulder, relax your face, move your hands into your tummy. Feel the movement of your tummy, your lower tummy and your upper tummy. Feel the air in and out. Feel the movement of your ribs, your chest. We're going to take a couple of breaths, inhale into your nose, exhale into your mouth with the sensation of fog in a glass. So let's go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Just one more. Inhale and exhale. Now we're going to keep this breathing with this sensation in our throat, which is a contraction of our epiglottis called Ujjayi breath. But this time we're going to close our mouth. So we're going to inhale and exhale through your nose. It's important here that if you lose the sensation in your throat, then you come back to exhale through your mouth. So then you feel it and then you close your mouth. So let's take a couple of breaths. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Through your nose, sorry. And again, inhale and breathe out through your nose. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Remember that this contraction of our throat called Ujjayi breath, it will help us to regulate more the speed and the amount of air in and out so we have more control of our breath. We're going to do a couple of breaths, inhaling for four, hold breath for four, exhale for four, and hold for four. And we're going to repeat a couple of times. Ready? Let's go. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. And hold, two, three, four. And in, two, three, four. And hold, two, three, four. And out, two, three, four. And hold, two, three, four. And in, two, three, four. And hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two. Three, four, and hold. Two, three, four. The last two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four. Give you deep and long breath as you just practice. And let's start. Make sure that you keep this deep breath the whole class. Bend your knees. Move your knees close to your tummy if you are lying on the ground and rolling backward and forward to come into the sitting pose. From the sitting pose, we're going to do two exercises in together using our breath. So first, going to be sitting child. So we're going to bend the knees, squeeze the knees towards to us, head down, and exhale, extend your arms, and we just stretch here, and we go again. Inhale, slide the heels closer, sitting child pose, Exhale, extend your arms, stretch your back, and extend your legs as much as comfortable. Remember that you feel pain or tension, you can always bend your knees. Let's do it four more times. Ready? Let's go. In. And out. And in, dragging the legs from your tummy. And out. You don't have to fully extend the legs. The most important is to straight our back completely. And out. Just one more. In. And out. Well done. Now cross your legs, right leg at the front. You can keep your feet under your lower leg, or you can keep one foot in front of the other one, whatever is more comfy for you. We're going to lean forward as far as you can go. The same, you can help you with your hands at the back to push you forward 
If you feel your knees are too high and you feel discomfort, hold your knees from under or you can move your arms to the front. Whatever of the tree is good. So let's hold down for four breaths. Inhale. Anna. In. Anna. In. And out. One more in. And out. Now we raise our torso. Move me your arms all the way up. All the way. Great. Now we're going to drop our hands and twist toes to the right side. The right hand go behind your back on your fingertips to help you to straighten your back and the left hand beside you tight to help you to twist. But make sure that the twist is coming from you waist, not from your shoulders. So let's hold here, connect the head with the rest of the spine, the neck, sorry, with the neck, the rest of the spine, and we hold here for the breath. In, Anna. Let's go for three, Anna. Let's go two, on out, and just one more. And out, release. Well done. Now it's important that you always feel that connection of the tailbone and the top of the head to have the reference to keep your back straight. Let's change the legs. Left leg go at the front. We lean forward. We can help us pushing us with the, with the hands behind us, holding our knees or moving the arms to the front. We hold here for four. Three. Two. Just one more. And come all the way up. Raise your arms. Stretch your body. And we're going to twist. So we drop the left hand behind to help us to straight our back. Make sure that before you twist, you are completely straight. Drop the other hand just beside our thigh. And we're just going to twist all the way. And we hold here for four. And breathe out. Let's go for three. And breathe out, relax your shoulders. Let's go two, breathe out, and just one more. Back to center, release. Let's come back to that movement of child pose and dandasana. So we go inhale, knees in, exhale, open up, stretch your back. And again, inhale, sitting, and exhale, extend, oh, oh, it's good. Let's go for the three, here, curve your spine as much as you can, and exhale, extend your arms, and just one more, inhale, and exhale, oh, this one feels great. Good. Now we're going to bend the legs and we're going to do half pigeon. So we lean to the side, leg curl with the left leg, move your knee beside your hip, then move this heel pretty much aligned with the other knee and the other knee in front of your hip. Move your chest to the front, facing forward, and we're just going to lean forward. Remember this one? And again, some of us, our knees too high, so we just go as far as possible. Keep moving your pelvis forward to allow you to keep facing forward. And we're just going to rest down as far as you can go. Ready? Let's go. And we just hold here for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. And breathe. Let's go two. And breathe out. And just one more. And breathe. Now raise your torso. Mm -hmm. And here we're going to use our hands. Don't worry if your knee is higher. Don't push the knee down. Don't force your knee near your hip. Don't worry. The knee is high. It's okay. 
with the time it will give up. And here we're going to use our hands on the ground to help us to arch our back as much as we can go. And we're going to hold here for breath. Ready? Let's go. Four. And three without forcing. Let's go. Two. And just one more. Ah, oh, it feels good. Now let's change the legs again. So we move the swing the legs to the side. So the right leg, leg crawl. Keep your heel close to your bum as far as possible. Move the knee beside the hip. Push the other knee in front of your hip and your heel pretty much in front of the other knee. Remember, it's a perfect square here. We move our hips forward to move our chest to the front. We lean forward as far as we can go. We don't force the knee down as far as, as, far as it can go. Ready? Let's go. We're just going to rest here for four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now raise your torso. And again, hands just beside your shoulders. Lift your chest, arching our back as much as we can. And we hold. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Only two more. Breathe in. And out. And just the last one. Breathe in. And out. Release everybody. Now move your legs together. And we're going to do onto fish. So I'm going to turn myself so you can see me. So keep your bum on the ground. Drop your elbows on the floor. Extend your legs. And here we're going to arch our back. And if you can bring the head down, but make sure that you keep your back arching. Now keep your fingers Put your thumbs under your bum to help you to move your elbows really in. And we're just going to rest here as far as we feel comfy, arching and opening our chest. Let's hold for four. Keep active your legs, pushing your heels away. Let's go three. Two. Just one more. Lift your head. Ah, oh, that was hard. Keep looking to the front. Bend your legs. Lift your feet. Come more onto your elbows. And extend your legs if it's possible. And we hold here for four. If it's too hard, you just can bend the legs or you can just go one leg. Okay? Let's hold in. And out. In. And get your tummy. And out. In and out, just one more and out. Bend your legs, help you with your hands to come up, and we're gonna go all the way forward. Bend, remember, if we cannot go down with our chest, bend the knees to allow us to fall forward and catch our feet. Now, this time, flex your toes, helping with your hands, and we just go as far as we can go without forcing our body. Let's hold for four, three, two, just one more. And raise your torso all the way up, everybody. And drop your hands. How you feel? Good. So remember that you can repeat the sequence from the beginning. Just click in the chapter to bring you exactly when we start just the routine, not the breathing part. And then do it again if you have time. And if you, it's your time to go, so let's go with our last three breaths. Hands back, prayer position. Inhale, move your arms up. And exhale, arms down. Again, inhale, arms up. 
and exhale. Just one more in and out. Hands back, prayer position, and we say namaste. Thank you for joining us. And remember that this sequence, if you repeat them, is great because you stimulate more your body. Of course, if we have time. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe, like, and leave us a comment. You can find us on Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio and check our website for our courses. And of course, if you want to one-to-one -one online um, session just to check your alignment and your technique, please contact us to our website. See you in the next video. My name is Fabi and we are Sacred Body Studio.